Imagine if you met a millionaire just walking down the street and he gave you a step-by-step -step blueprint telling you absolutely everything you need to do to get rich. I know that sounds like some pitch to some sketchy YouTube ad course, but in this video, we are getting pretty close to that. To start things off, I just bought a cameo from millionaire entrepreneur Dylan Kivo. He's the founder of some sort of magazine company worth millions. He looks rich as hell from his Instagram page, and for $54.99, we can get 60 seconds of life advice from him. Easy decision guys done dylan kivo is about to make me a drop shipping millionaire for the low price of 54.99 to see just how good dylan kivo's business advice is i also bought a cameo from kevin from the office i'm not sure if that name rings a bell but if you've ever watched the show he's the dude who's a little bit on the chubbier side and he's also known for being a little bit on the slower side as well why waste time say lot word when few word do trick if dylan kivo can't at least give us a little bit better business advice than kevin from the office Office, then we can pretty much rule him out as a mentor. Holy smokers, guys. Kevin from The Office is out here getting paid on Cameo. 200 bucks for a 60 second video. We're gonna do it anyways because you guys want to see this and I kind of want to see what kind of advice he gives us. To make sure we get at least some guaranteed valuable business mentorship in this video, I hit up my friend Sharif Moosin who is a full-time dropshipper and he also runs a successful YouTube channel a lot of you guys have probably heard of. I don't know exactly how many billions of dollars Sharif has made dropshipping, but I do know he made enough to buy a Tesla Model 3 at the age of 19 years old. And later on in this video, he is going to be sending me a reaction video reacting to our Shopify website, and then we're going to be reacting to his reaction. And if you guys thought things couldn't get any better than this, I also hired an Instagram theme page expert who has 27 theme pages with a combined 337,000 followers. This dude knows what it takes to grow pages on the platform, and luckily for me, I have two cat theme pages that I am leveraging to sell products on my Shopify store. And for the next week, he is going to be taking control of my pages to help grow the accounts. Speaking of Jake, he's actually giving me a call right now. Let's see what he's up to. How are you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing well, man. You're probably wondering why I'm calling you. Completely confused. I don't know why you hit me up. Well, I, I got a little bit of a proposition for you. How would you feel if I ran your Instagram accounts that I saw on your channel for the next week? And just like that, Instagram YouTuber Jake Tilk began the process of growing our theme pages from a combined 30,000 followers where they are now to the moon taking Dogecoin along with it. Luckily enough for us, Jake Tilk documented his journey day by day growing my Instagram account, so here is day one from his perspective. I saw Financial Wolf started Instagram theme pages and I got really hyped. So I reached out to him to see what he would think about me growing his Instagram theme pages for an entire week. So I just got into these pages and I immediately want to change the kind of content we're posting. So I want to post like more viral, better content. Uh, I want to clean up the way that the posts actually look. And the other thing I want to look at doing was cleaning up the aesthetics of the page and making sure that the pages are more searchable. So I need to get to work. With an Instagram expert running my pages for the next week, it is time to dedicate all of our time and effort to growing the e-commerce side of the business. So with that being said, let's react to some of Sharif's business advice. Okay, so I'm gonna be reviewing the store on mobile as you can see right here, but anyway, let's get started. So the first thing is kittysupplement.com is the domain. I like that, pretty nice domain. I like the logo as well. Going on to the images, we can see that we have quite a few images here. Uh, the images already on here are pretty nice, but one thing I would add are lifestyle type images so that the people can actually see what it's like for a cat to use it. Noted, really good advice. Honestly, something I didn't think about too much and I'm even going to take what Sharif said a step further since I have some physical inventory for my product right here in my house. My friend Danielle has a pet cat, so we're gonna shoot some custom content for the website using my friend's cat as a model. Uh, going on to the title of the product, Healthy Catnip Ball. So it does sound a little bit plain. I would probably add the brand name or maybe just the first word of the brand name, so kitty. and. The the trademark logo then after that something nice and descriptive to bring up the perceived value of it maybe something like kitty the nutritious catnip bowl so for the description I usually like to start out with the headline so maybe something like the most nutritious catnip bowl or maybe something like keep your cats healthy and hydrated with this uh, catnip bowl something to where when they read it they'll understand what the product does right away so in this segment of the review Sharif pretty much just dropped some knowledge on me on how he likes to format his descriptions for his drop shipping products and he says with 
with my description that I did a pretty nice job introducing the product benefits, but I could have done better at adding a product headline to kind of introduce my product and grab people's attention. I also should add some gifts according to him since it makes your website look well put together. And finally, he also said I could have done a better job at my website description since I used some of the same images in the website description as I used for the product photos. So overall, the site could use a little bit of tweaking. Now, personally, this isn't a type of product I would sell on Facebook just because of how small the margin and how low the perceived value is. Um, on theme pages, it can work. However, I would also prefer something more higher perceived value, such as maybe cat jewelry or cat necklaces. Sharif just dissed me. He literally threw shade at Financial Wolfgang. And you know what? That's unacceptable. We might have to square up, get in the ring, and have the first ever drop shipping YouTubers boxing event. Jokes aside, thank you so much, Sharif, for this amazing in-depth review. His channel will be linked down below in the description along with everyone else I mentioned in this video. And with that being said, I think we got some work to do on the website. It's been two days and ladies and gentlemen, we are back with new year, new me type of vibes because our Shopify store, kittysupplement.com has been revamped into kittysupplement.com 2.0. I changed some basic things on the website when it comes to the images used, but the major changes come in when you take a look at my website's product page. I pretty much followed exactly what Sharif recommended I do. And also, as you guys can see on the website, the custom content I took of my friend's cat definitely came in handy. Before we move on and start advertising this website, I want to quickly address the fact that Sharif said he wouldn't personally sell the product that I'm selling due to its low dollar margin. I honestly wasn't thinking about that when I picked out this product. All that I was thinking about is that the product has a good profit percentage, meaning I could buy it for a dollar and sell it for 12. And it was also a cool cat product I thought a lot of people would buy. Our new goal for this series is to get all the way up to that $1,000 in profit by growing and flipping the Instagram theme pages I bought and also selling products on Kitty Supplement. Com. Once we hit that $1,000 goal, we are going to take that money, liquidate the kitty supplement business, and then start a long-term Shopify brand. I think I can scale with Facebook ads. We're going to be avoiding Facebook ads for the current product since Sharif said it probably wasn't a good idea. We are currently sitting at a grand total of $32.85 in profit, not counting the cost or the profit we've made on the current Instagram theme pages. So that goes to show our current method of advertising is working. So with that being said, let's reach out to some Instagram theme page owners and try to close some advertisement deals. <music> I just closed not one, but four deals with Instagram theme pages for a total cost of $14. The reason it's so cheap is because all I'm doing is story ads since that seems to bring the most viewers to the website. And other than that, guys, I have some other good news because Dylan Kivo just responded to our cameo request. So uh, let's take the skateboard and head home. <music> We are officially back at the crib. Let's see what Dylan Kivo's got to say. Hey, Financial Wolf, thanks for reaching out. I'm gonna give you five tips when starting your new dropshipping business. Tip number one is always go niche. Number two is choose the right supplier. There's nothing worse than having your customers wait a month just to receive your products. And tip number three, always keep in mind what your numbers look like. So for those first three tips, we're definitely doing a good job based on what he said because number one, we're not dropshipping. I'm currently testing suppliers. I'm selling a niche product. And finally, we've been keeping track of our profit this whole time, baby. Number four, 
is rev up your customer service. Always make sure that you're focusing on your customer service. Last tip number five, automate the process. Once you have a system down, it's going to be time to delegate some tasks so you can focus on the in income producing things. Honestly, some pretty good business advice overall. The reason I picked him for this video is I actually bought a cameo from him a while back in a video where I spent $500 on guru business advice. Dylan Kiva was the only person who actually tried to provide value. And seriously, guys, I mean it because I paid Grant Cardone $300 for him to tell me to magically 10x my business. You, you make about three to four K a month from your online. Go 10x bigger now. As I was reacting to business advice from Dylan Kivo, each of the four ads on the Instagram theme pages officially went live. So tomorrow I'll check in with you guys, letting you know how it goes. Good morning, guys. I'm getting back in the car right now. I just finished off a little longboarding session. It honestly went pretty good. Just 45 minutes riding around. It was a nice little exercise. Lately, I've been trying to start my days with at least a little bit of exercise because health is wealth. And speaking of wealth, yesterday was a very good day for the Shopify store as we hit $65 in revenue or about $37 in profit. Now let's go spend that money on a drink because I'm honestly kind of thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I know I just said health is wealth and I'm drinking a Red Bull right now, but come on guys. I need some caffeine to start the day and coffee tastes like absolute booty hole to me. Anyways guys, today is going to be very similar to yesterday for the business. I'm gonna reach out to some Instagram theme pages, try to close some deals, and hopefully if things go well, we'll make money just like we did yesterday. Today I'm hoping to hit 100 bucks in revenue, and if we can hit like 30, 40 bucks profit, that wouldn't be bad whatsoever. I don't wanna bore you guys by repeating the same thing as yesterday, so I'll update you tomorrow, checking in how Today wet. Peace. What's up guys? It's your local dropshipping expert, Financial Wolf Lopez here. I'm out here in the beautiful streets of Wisconsin. And well guys, yesterday I became a multi-millionaire dropshipper. By selling a product, I posted an ad on three Instagram pages and boom, next thing you know, I made millions in profit. As you guys can see, the sales totaled $90.93 million. And if you're wondering how much profit I made, I made $38.93 since we spent $30 on a story ad. With that that being said, let's call some McDonald's employees because I gotta tell them about this amazing opportunity. Hello, McDonald's. What's your question? You know, a great way to escape the nine to five rat race is by starting drop shipping, right? Who is this? Ty Lopez. I have a drop shipping course and I was wondering if you wanted to join. No, thank you. No, thank you? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. You're gonna become a millionaire in 90. She hung up. Jokes aside, this week was absolutely crazy for the dropshipping business. We got advice from millionaire entrepreneur Dylan Kivo, Sharif Moosin, Jake Tilk grew our Instagram pages 200% in just one week. We will talk about that in just a second. And finally, Kevin from The Office declined our cameo request, which made me so sad. I honestly think it's because the words dropshipping and business in my cameo request scared him. Kevin is a simple man and he doesn't like hearing complicated stuff like that. So in the next episode of the series, I'll book another call with them but I'll use simpler words so he actually gives us some business advice because we're gonna need that advice from Kevin Malone if we want to scale this to a billion dollars now to end this video off I kind of want to recap where we're sitting in terms of profit for this challenge starting things off with the Instagram theme pages Jake did an absolutely amazing job just by switching to posting strictly reels on the page he brought the average likes up from a hundred per post to literally like 400 likes on every single post I make he also changed some of the strategies with hashtags and changing the post description to incentivize people to like and engage with the post. As for the follower growth on the Instagram theme pages, it's also gone up to like 30 to 50 followers every single day. And before Jake took control, the page was sometimes losing followers. I'd like to think we've built at least $100 in equity on these Instagram theme pages, meaning I could probably sell them for 475 bucks right now, as opposed to the $375 I paid for them. As for how we did drop shipping in this video, we made a grand total of $75 in just two days, bringing our total profit for this challenge to $208. Not bad, guys. We're getting closer to that $1,000 in profit every single day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. It'll be linked right here if it's already out, and with that being said, peace out.